Hey everybody, welcome to another episode. So today's video is on Trisha Paytas's, well it's a response video to Trisha Paytas's music video called Fat Chicks. And it basically went viral, she put up like two weeks ago, it's had like over a million hits, I'll put a link in the description below. And yes, it's about fat chicks, it's about fat acceptance, that sort of thing, and you know I've got an opinion on that. And we've got a bit of a love-hate relationship, you know, as a lot of you know, Trisha has made videos about me, I've made videos about her. And on one side, I admire how transparent she is, what she puts on the internet, she's very comfortable and brave and entertaining and she's consistent with uploads, so I admire that. But then on the other hand, she doesn't give a fuck about what she puts in her body and how it affects the animals or the environment and you know, just smashes in the junk food, the animal products, goes on these like thousand calorie diets and binges out, then makes videos about you know, why she you know, hates being fat and how she can't lose weight. But then she makes these videos about fat chicks. You know, trying to empower fat chicks to feel good about themselves and basically stay how they are. So that's a problem I have with this video. I mean, I'm all about self-improvement, about women feeling their best, as a lot of you know. That's why, that's a large part of why I do what I do, because I want people to feel good about themselves. And when you actually nourish your body correctly, you move your ass, you have a healthy lifestyle, then you do feel good about yourself. It is not rocket science, it's actually pretty simple, but a lot of people don't take that step. They don't, they just get complacent, they stay where they are. And I find that these videos help people stay where they are rather than step the fuck up. You actually need pain in order to change. Pain has been shown to be the, the um, most powerful motivator to change. For me to come to this lifestyle, I had to experience enough pain to make me step up. So I was getting, getting skin issues, digestive issues, weight issues, and I was like, fuck, I've had enough. Okay, I've had enough. I need to change. I got to that point. You know, that, that point where you're just like, oh, I'm going to lose it if I live like this anymore. And so I changed. And that's what people need in order to step up. If they really, really want to change, if they're experiencing so much pain, then they will change. But if they're feeling good about where they're at and they're not really uncomfortable, they don't feel bad about themselves in any way, then they're not going to change. And we see that everywhere we look around. Okay, over 70% of the population is either overweight or obese. We have a serious fucking problem. We've got over 800 people every single day in the United States dying from like weight related illness. Over 800 people. And don't bring out the anorexic thing because that's about 200 people die every year. And that's awful, but compared to 800 people every single day, it's like focusing on pulling out weeds in a garden while there's like a wildfire, you know, storming through. We've got to focus on the big issue here. So that's my first thing. It's like, people need pain, okay? You need to feel bad about yourself in order to step up. So embrace that pain and use it. Use it to become your best self. Get serious about where you're at. You know, strip off nude, get in front of the mirror and just look at it. Get a blood test, look at what you're eating, get real about where you're at because you need to get real first before you can change. And another thing with these videos, it's like, you know, fat chicks, embrace your fat, you know, fat's beautiful, that sort of thing. It's that sort of vibe. But then these girls like Trisha, these fat chicks, are wearing like waist cinches to make them look skinny. It's like taking away you know, their real shape. So they're wearing the waist cinches and they're wearing like spandex and stuff like to you know pull the body in they got all this skinny lighting and these angles and all that sort of thing it's like well aren't we about embracing our fat isn't fat beautiful are you meant to be loving your fat like show us then show us the fat how it really is so i really don't get that if you can explain it in the comments below then please feel free to because i find that really quite crazy and at the end of the day it's just a fucking excuse you know, drop the fucking excuses. You know, you only get one shot at this life. Make it worthwhile. So one of the biggest arguments is you can be healthy at any old weight. Well, the statistics show that that is just not true. The higher you are over your optimal weight, the weight that nature intended for you, not the weight that the ego wants you to be at, the more you risk major illness like cancer, disease, gout, heart disease. Statistics show that you are increasing your risk of all these major diseases. So really start loving yourself. And loving yourself isn't about just, you know, going in front of the mirror and giving yourself affirmations, blah, 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 blah. No, it's about taking action. 
okay words do not matter if you're not taking action if you're like saying i love you i love you love you and you're stuffing in the junk food that's not loving yourself i hate to break it to you but that's not loving yourself loving yourself means feeding yourself healthy moving your ass caring about the animals caring about the environment that's when you really create the person you truly want to be that conscious person so you've just got to get real about where you're at and just accept that pain, okay? You're gonna experience some pain. You're gonna feel bad about yourself, but you're gonna feel fucking awesome about yourself if you get through that stage of feeling bad about yourself. Use that bad feeling as motivation because that is a powerful fucking motivator, trust me. So that is my message for today. I hope it helps some of you. I know it'll make some of you probably mad, but just Get past the messenger. You know, you know, you can hate on me all you want if you want, but you're distracting yourself. Focus on the message. Focus on yourself. Go and strip down now. Go and look in the mirror. Go and get serious and go, hey, okay, I need to like get my shit together. And those of you who are getting your shit together, good on you. You know, if you've gained weight or you've got some weight on you, then you know, but you're moving in the right direction, that is great. But if you're stagnant and you're like lying to yourself, you're in denial, then you know what to do. Get real. All right. So don't forget to go fruit or root yourself and I'll see you soon.